All right, so let's have a look at what's inside of the box. Let's open the box and have a look. Packaging is very simple. There is nothing else in the box besides the boards in uh, electrostatic bag. Actually, if you have a good look at the box on the back of the box, you can see the whole schematic for the interfaces on the board, which is really nice. As you will see, there is lots of them, so that's helpful. So what can we see here? First of all, we can see the Ethernet jack, then there is um, Audio in and Audio out. Next one is the power switch and the power supply. The board can be powered from micro USB and also there is a jumper on board that switches between powering from USB and DC barrel jack. You only use the C barrel jack if you have more power hungry applications or devices connected to the board. Normally micro USB is enough. Next we can see the USB port. There is just one USB port and then there is HDMI out and HDMI input right here. For the interfaces, we also can see a Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi compatible pinout right here, and there is also Arduino compatible pinout here. There are also two PMOD interfaces here. PMOD stands for peripheral modules. Besides that, there are four push buttons, two deep switches and six user LEDs that, that can be controlled within the applications. So this is all about the hardware and um, to add a little bit more about the specs. Specs wise, as I mentioned before, the board is built around Zinc Z720 system on chip, which is located right here, which includes dual core ARM Cortex-A9 processor integrated with 28 nanometers Arctic 7 base programmable logic module. So we have both of them right here under the heatsink. So that's all about the hardware part. Let's burn the system image and have a look at a few demos.